welcome back to my channel again. So for today I'm filming a video I am so excited to film, I can't even tell you. Since I first, well before I even found out I was pregnant, I've wanted to film this video because I'm literally obsessed with watching them. And it is the 10 baby names I love but won't be using video. Um, so I've got five boys names and five girls names I absolutely love but for various reasons will not be using. Um, me and Andrew have discussed names quite a lot. We've actually had some we love for years. I've always had this little list on my phone. Um, we have narrowed it down to pretty much one boy's name. So we're pretty set on a boy's name that we love. And I've got kind of one front runner for a girl's name, but there are three I really love. I find girls' names a lot easier than boys' names. But yes, I thought I would just dive in and tell you the 10 names I love, but won't be using. So here we go. So I'll start with the five girls' names first and then I will move on to the boys' ones. And the first girl's name I absolutely love, but we will not be using, is Ophelia. And I will put the spelling on the screen for you. But I love the name Ophelia. I think it is super, super pretty. I love really, you'll notice a theme, I love really, really pretty girly names. And I love quite, mainly quite traditional boys' names. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love the name Ophelia. Ophelia is actually a Greek name and it means to help. Um, obviously I am part Greek Cypriot as well, so I quite like the fact it's got a little nod to my heritage there. And I think it is such a pretty name, but neither Andrew or my mum like it. And it's really annoying, but I really value my mum's opinion on these things and I really want her to like our baby's name. So if she doesn't like it, it's out. <laughs> um, so yeah, neither of them like it. I think they just think it's a little bit pretentious. I don't agree. So if you have an Ophelia, I love it. I think it's beautiful and I think it's super pretty and super girly, but Andrew and my mum are not fans. The second girl's name I love but won't be using, and I really do love this one. It was on my genuine contender list for a long time. Um, is Bluebell. I like really girly flowery names and I think Bluebell is so pretty. Um, obviously it is an English name coming from the English flower, the Bluebell. And I think it's just beautiful. I really love it. Um, the problem is with Bluebell. I think it's a beautiful baby girl name and a beautiful like little girl name, but I think a fully grown woman trying to be taken seriously and called Bluebell possibly not um, which I'm really sad about because I do love the name Bluebell and you don't get many Bluebells I think it's quite like it's traditional but it's unusual which I really like um, so yeah Bluebell love it but will not be using it sadly the third baby name I love that I won't be using is Penelope I really love Penelope that has been on our list for years and the only reason it's not really on our list anymore is because it's getting pretty popular. I know there's quite a few Penelope's now. And when something gets really popular, it puts me off a bit. Not so much with boys' names, I don't know why, because I do quite like traditional boys' names, but with girls' names, if it's got really popular, it puts me off. Um, I don't really like names in the top 100. I'd probably avoid them unless I massively loved it, it would put me off, to be honest. Um, I just like something a little bit more unusual and where there's not going to be, you know, five of them in one class at school. Um, this is all my own opinion, I should say. So if you have any of these names, I think they're all lovely. Um, but Penelope for me has just got a little bit too popular. Um, but I do really love it. I love Penny. I think Penny's really cute. I also really like it when it's shortened to Nelly or P. So I really do like Penelope, but it's just a bit too popular for us now, unfortunately. My fourth girl's name I love but won't be using is Lucy. Um, this is one of the more kind of traditional girl's names I really like. It's quite a popular name, which is again why we probably wouldn't use it. Um, but I just really love Lucy. I think it suits any age I think you can get away with for Lucy. I know older people that are called Lucy, I know people my age that are called Lucy, I know kids and babies called Lucy. I just think it's a really pretty name. Um, it's an English name and it means light, which I think is such a beautiful meaning and 
I think would be really fitting for someone who has gone through infertility or miscarriage to have a baby that means light I think that's really really pretty and I think Lucy is a lovely lovely name but it's just a bit too popular for us so we wouldn't go for it and my fifth and final girl's name that I love but won't be using is Aoife um spelt a-o-i-f-e Aoife is an Irish name and we wouldn't use it for that reason because we don't have any Irish in either of us. Um, Andrew is fully English and I am part English, part Greek Cypriot. I love the name Aoife, honestly I think it is so pretty and if I was Irish I would have it in a heartbeat but I just think unless you're Irish or have an Irish surname or anything like that, can't really get away with it. So yeah, I love the name Aoife. I think it's really, really pretty, but I just don't think we could get away with it. So next I will go on to my five baby boy names I love but won't be using. I find boy names so much harder than girls' names. Literally, I can think of a million girls' names that I love, but boys' names I really, really struggle with. Um, we only have one boy's name that we like currently. So if we end up having a boy and go off that name or someone we know calls their child that name we will really really struggle so I'm just hoping if it's a boy we stick with this name I'd like to point out it's not Paul <laughs> but we do like to call him baby Paul but it's not Paul he would not actually be Paul I feel like I need to make that clear but yeah I will go on to the five baby boy names I love but will not be using and the first baby boy's name I love is Oakley and it's actually an American name which means from the meadow I think it was um I'm not normally the biggest fan of American names to be honest but I do really like Oakley I think it's really cute I love any name boys or girls name I really like nature inspired names so I really like Oakley I can imagine it like running around in the woodland little Oakley I love it but we wouldn't use it because Andrew just doesn't like it at all I don't know what it is he just doesn't like it at all um he's normally fairly we have very similar tastes so if I like a name normally he likes it but he does not like Oakley at all so that was a no-no unfortunately. The second boy's name we love but won't be using is Alfie. Um, I've always loved the name Alfie. That was on my list for years and years and years but obviously now that is probably one of the most popular boy's names of the last five years I would say it's super popular I can see why because I think it's absolutely adorable I think it suits a little boy it's like a really cheeky name but then I also think it really suits an older man I just really really like the name Alfie I think it's classic but it's just too popular and it puts me off and it puts Andrew off so so it's a no to Alfie unfortunately but we do actually both really like that one baby boy name number three is Ezra um, I love the name Ezra but I'm not going to lie it is because of Pretty Little Liars and Andrew will just not have us naming a child off a character from Pretty Little Liars um, obviously Ezra is a biblical name and it's a Hebrew name and I think it is beautiful I almost think it sounds feminine which is why I quite like it I think it's quite a feminine sounding name I think it's quite pretty which for a boy's name is really unusual and I just really like it. I love the way it looks. I just think it's a really nice name, but I can kind of see where Andrew's coming from, that naming your child after a character from Pretty Little Liars is probably a little bit embarrassing. So Ezra is not meant to be, but I do love it. I think it's a lovely, lovely name. The fourth baby name I love but won't be using is probably along a similar vein to Lucy for the girl's name and that is Jacob. I love the name Jacob. It is such a classic name. It's so popular and I can see why I love it but we wouldn't use it again because of the popularity. Um, and also we know quite a few Jakes or Jacobs so so I probably wouldn't use it just because we kind of know we've got friends and things with the name Jake or Jacob so it would put me off using it but I do love the name Jacob I think it's really really classic and strong and I just it's a good name and finally the fifth baby boy's name we love but won't be using and this is one I really really do love is Hunter 
Again, as I said, I really like names inspired by nature and I just love the name Hunter, but, and the only reason we wouldn't use this is just because it doesn't go with our surname at all. Our surname is Cotter, so it ends T-E-R, and Hunter ends T-E-R, and it's just too much of a mouthful. Hunter Cotter just doesn't work at all. And it's such a shame because I really love the name Hunter, um, but it's a no-no purely because of our surname. So unless I find myself a new husband, that one's gonna have to be a no, but I do love the name Hunter. Um, so yeah, that is it. That's the 10 baby names we love but won't be using. Um, let me know what you guys think. I'm obsessed with baby names. So yeah, I'd love to know what you called your children or any names that you love and maybe give me some inspiration um, because I am quite fussy. But yes, I hope you've enjoyed this video guys and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.